Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Unfiltered. Pastor David, welcome. Thank you. Pastor, uh, there's some projections or speculation that there's going to be a lockdown within the next, I don't know, year or so, maybe further. It's going around. It's rumored. Uh, if that does happen, how will our church respond? Well, one, it uh, if it happens at all, it won't be a year from now. It will be sooner than that because we're we're approaching an election year, mm. and and so the uh, the Democrat uh, Party will most definitely, I would think, if they were going to, you know, say there needs to be a lockdown, they would definitely do it during an election year, which would allow uh, the present president to remain in his basement again and not actually have to debate his policies and the destruction that he has wrought on the United States in the last two and a half, three years. So I would I would make an assumption, an educated guess, that if there's going to be anything like that, it's going to be soon. It'll It could be within a few months. I'm no prophet. But it just makes sense that they would they would try and force uh, Americans back into their houses. And uh, again, you know, for the good of America. So you will not have weddings anymore again. You won't go to the store anymore. You won't have gatherings in your backyard with friends anymore. Children will once again wear masks in school. And uh, all the pain that we saw take place, John, and all the all the nonsense that this all resulted in in the first time would only create more havoc and more destruction and, and more demoralizing for this great, beautiful nation that we once inhabited. How would we uh, respond? I'm not going to I'm not going to personally adhere to any lockdown. Um, I I will not close the church. We opened our church for fellowship um, without saying. I mean, I didn't put it in the newspaper. Oh, by the way, if you want to leave your church and come to ours, which is basically what that would have been if I'd have said it, you know, we're the only brave person around. Therefore, come here so you can be fed by brave pastors. I wouldn't do that. Last time, what we did is we we took some time to investigate. We looked closely at what was taking place. I, I did my best to be informed and came to believe that what was being presented to us was not factual, that it was intentional for the um, disruption of normal life and all. And uh, as a result of that, we opened our church up to those who, who would come. And you know this, you were part of it. Excuse me, and we uh, we opened up the doors to those who would show up. I didn't publish it and, and all. I wasn't thumbing my nose at the government. We took things seriously. We followed the protocols that had already been established. We didn't say, you can't come here if you don't get a shot. Hmm. Those shots have proven to be um, ineffective. You know, um, we didn't do that. We didn't do any of that. We simply said uh, there are people who need to be congregating. There are people who need fellowship. These people go to our fellowship. And so, as you remember, we, we opened up the doors on a Sunday morning when a parade of people came into the parking lot. And I said, let's go into the, um, into the chapel. And we, I said, sit as far away from one another as you feel necessary. I'm not going to force you to sit next to each other. And if you've got concerns, and we all have them. And so we gathered, John, as you know, and we gathered weeks before anybody else was gathering, at least in this area. Mm -hmm. We just didn't put it in the newspaper or throw it on Facebook and social media. So what did we do? Uh, I, will, I will be here as I was before. I know you will be too, because you want to get paid. <laughs> um, and uh, we'll gather. We'll gather together. We'll clean up the... Uh, pews once again, though I don't see any of the need of that at all right now. I really don't. The variants have always, they always diminish in strength mm -hmm. from the original to where it would be now. And so um, what will we do? I shared this recently with our 
some of our leaders, the question was asked, is uh, the doors will remain open and uh, that's what we're supposed to do and that's what we'll do. Amen. And we don't have to worry, well, no worrying about law enforcement or anything like that because even the last time law enforcement shared that, now I don't want to be presumptuous about this, but they were, they knew what the value of, of keeping the church open was, even the mayor and all of that. So uh, that was, that was, that was cool for that to happen. Uh, and so, well, Pastor, thank you so much for sharing that with us. Uh, just want to remind you that we have our Wednesday evening service tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Pastor, you're taking us through the book of Romans. We'll be looking at some of the gifts of the Spirit in chapter 12. So a great opportunity to invite your friends and family to come out and join us. We look forward to having you guys with us, and God bless you.